Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be glamming up my best friend, Becca. She was visiting me for the weekend, so we decided to sit down and play some makeup. I used some warm tones on her, some gold, some orange, some coppers. I love these tones on her. I think it's just all ties in together, her hair, her eyes. So if you'd like to see how I got this makeup look on Becca, then please keep watching. Jumping right into the video, I'll be picking up the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Soft Brown. Just using an angled brush to give her brows a little bit more thickness and a little bit more shape. Next, I'm taking a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to use this to carve out her brows to clean them up a little um, and take it down onto her eyelid to cancel out any discoloration or redness that she had. Also, using a little bit of concealer underneath the brow gives it a nice highlight, something that's a little bit more natural. Taking a beauty blender, I'm just going to Make sure it's all well blended and nice and smooth. Then I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I'm gonna use this on her lids to make sure our eyeshadow stays in place. Setting that eyeshadow primer with the Derma Blend Loose Translucent Setting Powder just to make sure our eyeshadow blends nicely. Taking one of my favorite shadow palettes at the moment, the Sephora Pro Palette in Warm Tones. My absolute favorite, especially on Becca. I think just everything ties in with her hair color. So I'm deciding to pick up a nice warm brown that has a little bit of an orangey hue to it. I'm going to use this in her crease and I'm going to really pack on the color and just put it in her outer V as well. I'm going to bring it down onto her lid and just keep on blending making sure that's seamless. Taking a much fluffier brush, I'm going to use this to create just more of a diffused look. So I'm just going to lift her brow up a little bit and get my brush right into the crease, going in circular motions. Going back in and blending some more. Then I'm taking a flat brush and I'm using a cranberry color from the palette. And prior to application, I just sprayed my brush with a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water, which is one of my favorites, just to give more of a foiled finish to the eyeshadow. Next, I'm picking up some gold and I'm just going to focus this on the center of her eyelid, kind of creating like a halo effect. And I'm just going to blend the edges out as well with my fingers. Clean fingers, of course. I'm doing the same on the other eye. Next, I'm taking a darker brown shadow from the palette. I'm gonna focus this on the outer portion of her eye 
and into the brow bone just a little bit and just make sure that is blended. Just creating a little bit of darkness and some depth. Picking up the Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner from Maybelline, I'm just going to hug her lash line with this. I'm not going to create a wing eyeliner, I'm just going to apply this so there's no gap when we apply her lashes. Using something a little bit more natural for her. Um, these are one of the lashes she had herself, so we're just going to use these today and pop those on for some extra drama. Using Becca's current trio for her foundation, we're going to mix the Physician's Formula Foundation and the Smashbox Primer Oil, which is perfect for her complexion at the moment. Becca has more of a drier skin type, so the primer oil is awesome for that. It is made up of 14 different essential oils, so it's going to be very soothing, calming, and moisturizing. So one to two drops mixed in with her foundation. I'm just going to use a dual fiber skunk brush to apply that. Wanting to go with something a little bit more dewy, fresh looking and radiant, um, I decided to use this and just use a dual fiber brush for more of a glowy finish. Taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, I'm just going to create a triangle under Becca's eye just to correct any darkness and help to brighten things up a little. Taking a flat synthetic brush, I'm just going to help the blending process and just kind of diffuse this out a little bit. I'm also going to go up by her shadow to correct the shape. I'm going to pick up a sponge as well that is damp and I'm just going to help to blend that out and make sure there's no creases. Taking the same skunk brush that has a little bit of foundation residue, I'm just going to blend that out so there's no lines. Setting her concealer with a little bit of Derma Blend loose translucent setting powder once again. Making sure everything is seamless and she doesn't crease throughout the day. We're going to bronze up Becca's face a little bit. We're going to give her some warmth. This is the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer by Too Faced. I'm just going to buff this effortlessly all over her skin, on the cheekbones, a little bit on the forehead as well. Skin 
to go with that more dewy radiant look we're just going to highlight with the long comb highlighter this is in the shade sparkling peach which i thought tied in so well with the eye look we're using her big jumbo tart brush to highlight the tops of her cheeks um, on the forehead above the brow and down the bridge of her nose want to be extra glowy so this is just an extra step above your brow but it looks gorgeous and the color looks amazing on her skipping lipstick becca was feeling a little bit dry in the lip area we we're just adding a nude lip gloss and she's also applying her tarte mascara to blend her falsies and her real lashes together and a little bit of bottom mascara as well. Finishing off with a little bit of Pixie Setting Spray and that completes Becca's little makeover for the day. Here are some photos I added of her makeup and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!